Come on, people, get moving, please. Making the place look untidy. Especially oh. you. Your school days. Why are you late? Forgot me. Well, that's not good enough. Love them? All my life, like, I've not been offered stuff like this or anything special, so if you can find it in your heart to vote for me, then... Yeah, I'm actually... No, I'm actually gonna cry. Or loathe them. See, I don't have all the numbers at bottom, though. These ones here? Yeah. Well, they're letters, not numbers. Same thing. You never forget them. Oh, me! Wait till I get that ginger little bastard, all this. At this school in Yorkshire, things are changing. As we know, people, northerners were proper, rate, right, clever, aren't we, Jade? There's a new head teacher. Quite scared of you, sir. Good, you keep it that way. With a new plan. I came to this school knowing exactly what I wanted to achieve. Yes, improve exam results. Yes, make behaviour better. You're a cheeky bitch. But the most important thing for me is that alongside everything else that we give them, they walk out of here as decent human beings who are ready for the world. And if that doesn't happen, we have failed them. Stop crying, you mournsy bugger. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're dealing with teenagers, life's never straightforward. Did you stamp on his head? I don't know. I might have done. Right, thank you. We filmed over a year to find out what life is really like in one of our secondary schools. There comes a tipping point. I'm going to have to ask him to leave. For oh, good. For the teachers. Yes. Let's have a massive year seven hope. And the kids. If he doesn't apologise, he's going to spend the rest of his natural life in detention. At the very start of adult life. It's like my eyebrows. She had my eyebrows on. I came in with a plan different approach to raising standards for the good of the kids. I want all the students to be ready for the world when they leave here, so that they leave us as model citizens. But every day almost, someone rails against that vision. Any school that tells you that they don't have fights is, is lying, because they happen. A traditional head teacher is somebody who doesn't necessarily get their hands dirty. You don't fucking eat, girl! But I'm a new head teacher. It's lunchtime, and there's trouble between two Year 11 students. Jack has a school for George. We'll come back to you in a minute, Jack, OK? <sighs> head of Year Mrs Crither joins Mr Mitchell to investigate what's happened. Jack's gone for Georgia, and the next thing I knew, someone was holding Jack down on the floor. And I need to find out who's seen right. what. I'll get Jack up here in my office. OK. OK. And then we take that one from there. Happy days. Here you go, Jack. They call you a slag. And then he's got open gun for me and everything. Who's this? Jack and me. Right, who's got Jack? What? Who's got Jack now? The teacher got him. I couldn't even get a proper grip of him because he had me by neck. Right. Yep. Yeah. Just wait in there, OK? And I'll just leave these with you. So just keep, uh, he's not anywhere to be seen, so don't. Yeah. Okay. Are you kind enough to talk to me yet, or do you need some time to calm down? Fine, sir. You're fine. You don't look fine. Get a tissue, you might need one. I'm ringing my mum. Hello? Listen, lad, they were slagging me off on Friday because everyone told me at Top Gates I've gone up to him today and I just go for more. Were well, you slagging me off? He goes, yeah, I called you a fucking slag and what are you going to do? I goes, I'm a fucking slag, am I? He goes, he stood up and went for me and everything, so we we're fighting. Yeah, no, lads, I've got him and goes, you don't fucking hit a lass and then when he's been on floor, everyone's just booted in. No, in dinner room. Fuck's sake. Jack M is tiny as anything, he's nothing. Yeah, you won't know when you no one knows him really. From start to finish. Tell me what happened. Um, well I was eating my dinner, sir, and right. she came over to me. She? She came over to She? 
cutting Jar Jar. <coughs> yeah. She started saying, uh, threatening me, and then she said, um, do, you think you, do you think you're clever in that calling me a slapper and all this stuff? I just told her basically, go away and leave me alone. And then she said to me, if I'm a slapper, then what's your mum? And then that's when I got out of my seat and went for her because I don't like anyone talking bad about my mum. And it gets me upset. And then very carefully tell me exactly how you reacted. And I just went for her. So you got up out of your seat? Yeah. Were you sitting down at this time? So you yeah. got up out of your seat? I just bunched her. I didn't plan on punching her or slapping her or Did you punch or slap her? I didn't, no. But you went for her? Yeah. And it was like giving me off, calling me every name under the sun. So I've gone over to him at dinner time and I goes, were you talking about me on Friday in your last lesson? He goes, yeah, the war, you're the slag on what you're going to do. And then he stood up, he's gone for me. And then we just started fighting. OK. Can I just ask you something, Georgia? And it's it's just important. Did you stamp on his head? I don't know. I might have done. Is it possible? I don't know. I might have done. Right, thank you. Can't remember because I was just my adrenaline rush was just there. It was just oh. Right. I need to get a statement from you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it for now. You just stay where you are, please. I had done no wrong to him. Mm. I have not even said a word to him. I don't even know him. That's, uh, happy Tuesday. Mmm. Interesting Tuesday. Interesting Tuesday, right? <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> We're in a, an intense environment where kids that don't like each other necessarily are thrust together. We're trying to make them get on with each other. Sometimes it doesn't work. But... I'm very clear in my approach to that. That's not acceptable. <laughs> Just sit here a minute, George, please. I don't like Mr Mitchell. You do? How dare you say that? All right. Yes. Come back and talk to you in a minute, Georgia. All right. She can. <laughs> no, she can. She's very calm. I couldn't get hold of him because he had me by the neck. Uh, I could have stamped on his head, but I can't remember. The only reason why I asked her that is because Paul seems to think that somebody did stamp on his head. He's not mentioned anything about that. Jack Henry's version of events is she came over and says, why are you calling me a slag? And then she said, anyway, if I am a slag, what's your mum? <laughs> he's not denying anything, but he's using the, she called me mum a slag. Well, that's absolutely fine. And, yeah, I can understand that, but also, he's called Georgia a slag. So... So... It's unprovoked. Yes, it is. Let me just tie up the bit about, anyway, if I'm a slag, what's your mum? You're not on your phone, George. Yeah, talking we to my mum. We haven't finished mom. yet. Talking to my mum. Come in here, George. And don't be... <laughs> don't be what? Get in there. Come on, hard enough. <laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> he thinks that you said, anyway, if I'm a slag, what's your mum? No. Did you make any reference to his mum no, at all? I, I'm just asking questions. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well done for staying calm, because six months ago you'd have gone bothered. off the wall, mm. wouldn't you? <laughs> Cheers. It's all right. All right. Excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking, I've gone over to him, right? Because I oh, saw what you call me a slack for. So it's fucking. He stood up, yeah, because I said your mum was like, but I've said that I didn't say that. He stood up, he's gone. Can you ring Jack Henry's mum? Yeah. Explain what's happened and okay. say, look, it is serious, but by the same token, it's an argument Jack's got angry. Yes. We're keeping him out of circulation at the moment. Can Georgia go back to her lesson? If she's calm enough, you make a judgment call, that's okay. fine. It's difficult sometimes to sort of draw the line as to who's to blame and who's not to blame. Jack is generally a really well-behaved lad. But when the going has got tough in the past for Jack, he has lashed out. And in the end, right, we have to look at the behaviour that we've been presented with and we have to sort of make a judgment decision uh, as to what we think is the best outcome. You're very quick with your temper. 
And I know this has been an issue before, isn't it? I know you're ashamed. And I know you're upset about it. How would you feel if I had a word with Mrs Kennedy? She's going to do some work one-to-one -one on behaviour management. If I was like... Mr Mitchell decides to remove Jack Henry from lessons and give him three days in the school isolation room. You sure you're all right getting home? Yeah. Good lad. Thanks, Jack. Thanks. He is also given a course of anger management. On this occasion, Georgia is not punished. I am constantly striving for a harmonious school. And we need different groups within the school environment to treat each other with respect and get along with each other. And that is one of the things that is not for sale about my vision for the school. Mark my words, we haven't heard last of this. It's the day after the fight. For the year 11 girls, it's still a hot topic. I was fucking giggly yesterday after that fight, though. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking mad, you. <laughs> she says, are you coming to the toilet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Sheridan, Amy, Hannah, Lauren. They were just a cool group. They're all cool. <laughs> I get on with Georgia so much. I can't cope with her sometimes, because <laughs> she's just that funny. I love her to pieces. Mental. Yeah. Proper mental. Come on, people, get moving, please. <laughs> Making the place look untidy. Especially you. Shall we done? At least we're not late, we've been in toilets. Georgia, bless her. Georgia's difficult. Georgia? Mr. Jane about fight yesterday. No. Had a fight. Did you? Yeah. Jack Henry they just stood up and started attacking. He makes a change, because normally George is the first one to react, but... And Miss Jordan got in my face, felt like punching her. It's enough. Ooh, I was dead mad. Stop swearing, George. Get up my face and now... Get the f... <laughs> Georgia likes to be the centre of attention. Georgia likes to shower mouth off. And she's charismatic. She's amazing. For Jack Henry, the day after the fight means starting his three days in the school isolation room. feel ashamed of myself and I did miss my friends a lot in isolation but I guess that was you know part of my punishment not being able to see anybody. Jack Henry's group of friends are very different to George's. They're a tight-knit bunch of kids. Oh, crap. Support each other when things get tough, they work hard, they want to achieve. Brandon is Jack Henry's best friend. Have you had what um, Jack Henry? What did he do? I think he finally snapped after all those torment people, um, all those people just tormenting him constantly. I think it just came to the day where he went, you know what? No! Bang! Brandon. Very geeky. <laughs> this is about ten of them. They're not exactly boss, but they're not like they get on with yeah. teachers, if you like, you know what I mean. They just get their heads down in every single lesson and you don't hear a word from them. They're just really quiet. We do, like, have common enemies, cos if somebody's passing, they'll always say something or they'll give us nasty looks. We start taking pick out of them, calling them names. <laughs> I don't know what I do to, you know, deserve such abuse off people, but, you know, 
at the end of the day, some people are popular, some people aren't, and I guess I'm just unfortunate enough to be not popular. I'd hate to be one of them. <laughs> I'd really hate it. So cool. Look at that thing, man. Difference is good. They have to learn to deal with it. And you need geeks, and you need swats, and whatever other nasty terms that we might have for them, as well as complete extroverts. Kids have to develop their own personalities, and I think that's really important. Jack Henry has lashed out once before this year in response to teasing. To help him deal with this, inclusion worker Mrs Kennedy is giving him a course of anger management. So, do you want to talk about the incident? Um, yeah, that's fine. How did you feel? Um, uh, I felt really bad inside. I felt yeah. ashamed that I'd went for a girl. Right, yeah. And I also felt angry at myself. Right. Because I'd lost it. Yeah. And I was very shaky inside. Yeah. I do hope people do leave me alone. I'll try and get on with things and just block them out as best I can because at the end of the day I shouldn't really let them spoil my last few months. I'm going to spend as much as time I can making sure I get, I leave a good grades, I do well in my exams, and spend as much time with my friends as I possibly can. And that's where we, we're going to come in, and I'm going to come and help you, and we're going to do a little programme for about six weeks. We'll look at some coping strategies to help you manage your behaviour. Are you happy with that? Yeah. 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 First of all, we'll look at like triggers because you're at a stage now where young man hormones raging in that body. Yeah, that's sort of caused you to go <gasps> like a volcano. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Get you back down to isolation. I absolutely accept that Jack Henry has had a hard time at school. Yeah. We've tried to help him through that and give him advice and guidance to go forward. But we've also dealt with those people that have been responsible. The school's policy on bullying is really clear. We don't accept any bullying in any form. It's absolutely central to the core values of the school, to my own values. But we have to recognise as well that Jack Henry's lashed out at someone physically, and that's not something that we can accept. Some things work for some kids, and for other kids, it's other things that work. Over George's five years at school, they've tried many things to turn her behaviour around. <laughs> She's been a regular in detention and isolation, and has been excluded six times. This year, her behaviour has improved, and the school put it down to one key tactic. Those who don't behave aren't allowed to go to the end of school prom. Because it's like you're leaving, aren't you? So it's like, ace, yes, it's a big thing. Really, really good. I can't wait for prom. That one time when you could pop a dress up and look nice and... <laughs> Go party. <laughs> Over the last 12 months, she's grown up a wee bit and she has started thinking about how she acts. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Most of the time. <laughs> but there are flashpoints. We would all love to see Georgia go to the prom, but to be honest, it's going to be a difficult one. Brandon is a prefect. His job is to make sure that everyone is following the school rules. Where are you going? Oh, 20 of you. No, 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 no. What are you going for? I'm not stupid. <laughs> Oh dear, they won't get past me. It's important that people understand that there are basic rules by which everybody lives, and it's not about school and it's not about our home, it's just about society in general. Fernandez! Safia, what are you doing? Up! 
Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Miss James is this way. So that people outside the school can think, those kids go to Thornhill Community Academy, rather than, oh, it's kids from high school again. <laughs> In form time, Georgia is following her own rules. Class here. And if you have already done your maths exam, you go to your normal lesson. Carla's drinking Guinness tonight, so it's proper good for your baby. Guinness? Guinness. How is it good for your baby? Guinness is really good for your baby. Oh. Don't ask me. Mate, how's Guinness good for your baby? It's not. Yeah, it is. Proper good for your baby. Really, really good for your baby. What? Guinness drink beer. You're not supposed to drink while you're pregnant. You're allowed to drink Guinness. It's Guinness. It's really nice. Really good. Guinness, is that like Bulmers? I don't know. Put your tie on before I come over there and pin no. it to your neck. Georgia? Yeah. Right, they'll have your planet and we'll put a comment in it. Put your tie on. Mm, don't like it. You've got it to put it on sometime. Well, then get a bigger shirt. No, I don't want to. Put your tie on. It's tight on my neck, it's strangled. Right, well then give me your partner, because I'm not having this argument with you this morning. Oh, sure. I'll have your partner. Did you tell me to shut up then? Right, outside. <laughs> Out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, just the person. Before you go, Georgia has refused to put a tie on several times and has told me to shut up. No, I, I wasn't talking to you, what I? I'm not having her. She also hasn't given me a plan to write her a comment. What are putting my tie on though? No, you don't give me a chance. Oh. I've been talking to you for four. No, I'm not having this argument. Take oh, her outside. Whatever. I mean, how difficult is it, honestly? Yeah. Fuck Georgia. off. Georgia? Your teachers are winding me up on a first five bloody morning. I'm getting fucked. I mean, even Max does it look. Huh? Look at that. Perfect model student oh, yeah. there. I should be a prefect, me. Unfortunately, George was on the warpath. Why? She's walked out of the classroom. She's refused to even come and talk to me. I'll come and have a look with you. Georgia, I need you to stand off. Later. Eh? Huh? What did you stand off for? Cos Miss Wood winds me up. Don't walk away from me. I'm trying to talk to you. Miss Wood asked you politely on a number of occasions to put your tie on. And yeah, you then I put it on and then she did But you didn't, did you? Cos if it's on... <laughs> If it's she on, even give me chance Georgia, and then... Georgia, if it's on like it's on now, she's quite right. Cos it's not on now. Yeah. You either put your tie on, or you need to do what we do when people refuse to follow instructions, which is going to isolation. Put your tie on. Why does it? It needs to be, cos I said so. It's my school. That's why. She's, she's, she's a child, isn't she? She's just a child. She's a child who desperately wants to be a 25-year-old. And she's just not mature enough. Right. She's done so well. Mm. And she was, I mean, she's desperate to go to the prom and everything. It would be an awful shame, you know. She has the carrot of the prom, you know, and a failure to improve her behaviour or to meet with our expectations will mean that that prom may well be taken away. As George's behaviour continues to test the school, Jack Henry is persevering with his anger management. So, you know, like we were talking about that ticking time bomb? Yeah. Yeah, you are that ticking time bomb out now, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ticking, making you react to things, yeah? Start shaking uncontrollably. Yeah. Um, it's like seeing that mist, isn't it? That red mist. I don't really think about anything. I'll just do it because... Mm. You said this to me, right, I'm not going to take it anymore. You're going to get it back. It might be just helping you breathe in, take yourself away from the situation, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Because you are doing a good job, yeah? And you're only just dealing with an emotion that's quite normal, yeah? You're not a bad person because sometimes you get a little bit angry. You do know that, yeah. don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anger management is helping. I've been learned, you know, more to try and walk away from it more than I usually do. And that's where I want to be like. I don't want to have such a short fuse that I snap all the time. Because, you know, it could affect me in adult life and I don't want that for myself. I want I want to be able to, you know, be a calm, more relaxed, laid-back person. 
Jack Henry's yeah. sessions are going good. I think he's just a boy that's growing up and... Yeah. It was provoked. Georgia knows what bush buttons to press, doesn't she? With everyone. Yeah. Georgia, please. Please, if you want all the grief, keep going. Despite the risk of not going to the prom, over the next few weeks, Georgia's behaviour goes downhill. Can't tell me what to do. Don't do that with me, dog. Can you sit down? Like, no, can you sit down? Like, nice. Georgia, sit down, Georgia. Georgia, sit down, please. Can I stand here? No, I don't want you standing there. I want you to sit, I want to sit down. No. no, you're in the wrong, wrong frame of mind. Feet off. Sit down properly. I'll just gossip to all my mates, and then I get shouted at, then get sent out, then get sent to Miss Mitchell's office. It's... I don't want to sit down. But the point is, I'm asking you to sit down, because well, this is some... Georgia, head. listen, are you going to listen to me talking, or are you going to just crap on? Talk about yourself getting wound up. Crikey, Moses, you put me in an early grave, Georgia. Are you scared of Mr Mitchell? No. It's not like he can smack me and just send me to bed, is it? <laughs> As complaints about Georgia's behaviour pile up, the school is running out of options. Behaviour's been pretty ropey the last few days. Mm. First thing Georgia did when she walked into Velda's cover lesson today was try and get a phone out and put some music on. Mm. Velda said, no, you're not allowed to do that. So and so lets us do it. Mm. So and so says it's all right for us to do it. Why won't you? Mm. Oh, get out of my face, you know. And <sighs> kids have all got the ties off that kids get away with stuff. You know, we have to look inside at ourselves and how we deal with stuff as well sometimes because there are inconsistencies. We're going to deal with this now. Mm. Dead simple. Firstly, under no circumstances should mobile phones be in use during lesson times. There have been several instances over the past couple of weeks where students have been listening to music, etc., during lessons. We do not allow mobile phones in the academy. Please can you ensure that you stick to these principles? Sorry if this sounds like a rant, but it sort of is. You saw your tire, please. Georgie, excuse me, I saw your tires off. That mobile phones aren't allowed at all in school. OK? Right, what are you lot doing here? Hey, prefects, come on. What, what, why am I doing your job here? Hey? They should bring back the cane back and bang. If you deserve it, then you deserve it and you should be smacked. Bang! Wouldn't do it again. While Georgia is in trouble, her friends are making their final arrangements for the prom. I've seen a proper nice yellow dress, me. Yeah, my dress is from America. How much is your dress? It's in that fucking dollar sign thing. It's yours. So are you going on your own? Yeah, because there's only enough seats for me and the driver, plus my dress is massive, so I probably won't even going to fit in it. What car are you going in? A Lamborghini. Oh, if you all want to get a limo, I've seen a really nice one. Do you know that car, that Bentley car? Yeah. It's been stretched. When you open doors, the doors flip up. So they go up, and inside it's proper sparkly and it's gorgeous. How many people is it for? Eight. It's not like pink or all. It's a grey colour. Pink is a nice colour, but I think it looks a bit tacky when they're pink. I'd rather have grey, white or black. Send me on BBM, and if you can, find that website, what it's on. Yeah. Why is it on a website? With prom fast approaching, Georgia's behaviour reaches tipping point. After more disruption in lessons, she's given time in isolation. But she doesn't come into school to do it. Cos all my sisters went to final anyway. They've all been targeted, and that's what they're doing to me. They all got kicked out. So I'm surprised I've even lasted till end year 11. How many sisters have you got? There's four of us all together. And how many of your sisters made it through to the end of school? One. Georgia is finally back in school, but she still refuses to go to isolation. <clears throat> Sir, I, it's actually really bad because I'm getting done, so I ain't even done. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Just wait there. No, you're not. You can come in here and make this point. I'm very sorry, Georgia, I'd like to complain to you. 
It's disgusting what's happened. Refusing to go into isolation. Well, you need to go into isolation, Georgia. I'm not. Something I haven't done. You'll be excluded then, sorry. Well, I haven't done anything. Right, come outside then, Georgia. I'm sick of it. Proper sick of it. She's outrageous, isn't it? She is. It's just ridiculous, I'm done all. Yeah. It's top of tire. Mr Mitchell and his team exclude Georgia for three days. I'm not calling back now, that's it. You don't leave any kid languishing somewhere where they're not going to be successful. But there comes a time as well where you think this is just becoming so onerous in terms of time now. We have to concentrate on the, on the battles that we can win. And, 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 and Georgia, I think, dare I say it, unfortunately, is a battle that we're probably losing at the moment. I don't want to speak to them anyway. They're just following me. They're following you because you're excluded, so you need to leave premises. Miss, have you got an address or something? My mum can put a complaint into her. She's doing it to hire people, independent people. <sighs> School address or Kirkley's Education Authority. Yeah, you don't need to follow me now. Website. See you later. She's not going to go to the prom. Not a chance. We've only got one more week, haven't we? Yeah? Where's that saying that you had work out? It was. But see if you remember a man's it. man's true wealth is measured by the good he does in the world. And that's your... Yeah. Mantra into that's what you want to uh, achieve. Bring it out when you feel like. <gasps> yeah. Because we don't want anybody to light that fuse again, do we? No. No. But you're not going to, are you? You're not going to do that. This week, it's GCSE modules for the Year 11s. Sir, so, do you know what I just need to, to like, revive? Yeah. Then things were, what are, like, things? Things are like things. It's break time. And while Jack Henry is in the middle of his exams, he is also continuing with his anger management. It's two days since his last session. Ladies, ladies! Leave it, yeah. It's not my brother again. Leave it. Guy, leave it. Come on. Go to. Oh, Don't follow him. Stay with me. Get up! Get up! Leave it. Stop! Stop! Oh, kicking. Jack Henry, shot a Jordan Bob, and he's getting through. What's just happened? I tried try to get this little guy from bouncing up and down on you, but wait, just. Yeah, you go to my office. Yeah. Jordan, it's my office. Yeah. Just stay in there, thanks, lads. Cheers. For God's sake. Wait, <sighs> right, Jordan, what's happened? Here you come, Adam. Uh, that Jack pushed me in the eye. Jack punched you in the eye. Yeah. What is it? Got, what's Jack has got to do with it? I don't know. Yeah, he just yeah, come out. Right, Jack. Yes, sir. Tell me what happened. Um, Jordan was just mouthing off at me and my friends. In what way? Um, like you know, saying stuff like I'm gonna beat you up and stuff like that. And then I just walked up to him because I had enough of it, and I just pun punched him in the face. Because I'd had enough. I to, thought, you to know, Jordan. Yeah, because I'm not taking it anymore. Can I take you back to a conversation that we've had before? Yes, sir. About lashing out? Yeah. And um, can you remember what we what we agreed was the right way to go about dealing with that situation, Jack? Come to a scene member of staff. Yeah. Did you forget that conversation at this point? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. You realise why I'm upset? Yes, sir. About this? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this is a crucial time of year for you, isn't it? Yes, sir. You've also got responsibilities, yeah? Yes, sir. Because I've got a responsibility to make sure when you leave here, you're fit to be out in normal society. Because if somebody winds you up in society and you plant one on them like you've admitted to doing, the police will be called immediately, won't they? Yes, sir. And it's a big, tough world out there, Jack. 
I want you to reflect. I want you to think about it. You know, if you need, beat yourself up about it a little bit, because I think you need to. So just note for the record, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy with this situation. Very, very unhappy. I'm, I feel let down and disappointed. I'm sorry. And I accept that your apology. You do realise, however, I'm going to have to do something about this. Yes, sir. All that work I've put into trying to make myself become more of a better person than I was is feel like I've just thrown it back in the school's face, which makes me feel really awful. Georgia is back in school after her exclusion. She still doesn't know if she'll be allowed to go to the prom. Sir? Come in. Hi, sir, Ryan. Hello. It's a prom soon, right? Right. Yeah. Like, the girls have... Right, explain. We're booking limo, but we need to know how many people are coming. And we want to know if Jack and George is coming. I can't give you an answer now. Do you know when you'll be able to... Cos we need to hand deposit in tomorrow morning. I'll try and do it by end of day, then. Right. Right, just let us know then, George. So I'll just uh, keep my head down and just do my work and do what I need to do, like my own I'll, I'll, I'll discuss it with the appropriate right. people. Just don't get in trouble for the full day. I'm not gonna, obviously not. Obviously, I'm just gonna keep my head down now. He works in her, cos he knows that I'll take my mum straight away if he says no, and my mum will start kicking off. What you got? Bye, health and social. Following the fight earlier in the day, Jack Henry is given his first ever exclusion. He's told not to come into school for three days. The two other boys involved are given the same punishment. Jack Henry is allowed to stay in school this afternoon because he has an exam. What? Yes. <laughs> that I'm really serious. Why? Who is it excluded? Yeah. Mr. Mitchell, obviously. He's the one in charge, isn't he? Come on, we'll have to go see him. No, I'm not going to see him, Brandon. I can't change his mind and I'll be a fool to try. Come on, Jack. No, I'm not going. No. No, I'm not, Brandon. So what, you're just going to let him exclude you? Yes. Simples. Yeah, but it's going to go in your record and you might not get into college for it, and that's don't, what I'm thinking I don't about. care. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Please well, go see him. You're being excluded for being bullied again. Call it's me. not bullying, though, is it? Because no-one said out to me. We would just be threatened and I punched him. That's yeah, it. that's bullying. I'm being punished because I'm responsible for what I do. No, you he, mean run, he, runs, he runs this academy. I'm a student. I can't do anything. Yeah, but it can, it can be... It can be convinced. And do you want to go to Mr Mitchell and, like, do a plea to not get excluded? Do you want to or not? Yes or no? No. Exactly. Leave him to his wishes. Come on, Jack. You're running. It's a well-known fact. I have an anger problem. No, you don't. Come on. You'll feel better after it. I don't know what good it'll do. It will do good. <sighs> All right, fine. Who else is coming then? Yeah, I'll come with you. Come. I'll come. Oh, well. yeah. oh wonderful. Go? Yeah, shall we just all go? Every one of us. You're not gonna right, let's go. See ya. Where are we going? Hi. We're in where? No. Glad. Just pop here a second. Come here. Come in. Sit down. OK. Shut down, then, Jack. What's happened? Got a major problem because Jack's been excluded for three days for being bullied. OK. This is kind of ridiculous because it's going to go against his college record and his CV and it doesn't go down like it happened. I, I, I totally agree with you because you, 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 know, you look at a piece of paper and it just says that it doesn't yeah, give the full story. It makes me feel bad because when Jack fights back, he can do nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I mean, and and I, un I, understand. I, un yeah, I understand your point of view entirely, yeah. Uh, right, I don't know who Mr Mitchell is at the moment, OK, but I will speak to Mr Mitchell and find out what's going on. And again, for now, calm yourselves down, get your heads on the exam, do best you can in that exam. Yeah. Jack, it's being sorted, yeah? I'm not going to let this go, you're not being excluded. Yeah. If we have to, we'll throw molotovs at the windows. Thanks, mate. Is that, you won't, yeah. it will not be excluded. I'm about to tell Georgia that she's not going to the prom. 
Excellent. Oh, can I be there? I'm going to do it. And then run away. <laughs> Before she burns my school down. No. I don't know. And I've been told to come here. Uh, wish me luck. I've got Georgia waiting outside my office. <laughs> Is Georgia gone? Yeah. Right. Hiya. Hiya. It's just Georgia I need. To... I'll talk to you at dinner. Bye. Bye. I can't let you go to the prom, Georgia. I'm sorry. Right. You know that, don't you? Yeah. You knew I was going to say yeah. that, I hope. Um, but I want you to tell me why I can't let you go. I don't want to just say I can't let you go and then you feel aggrieved. So that I know that you understand that I'm not just doing this because I've got a vendetta. Don't I'm doing it for the right reasons. That's what's happened, basically, isn't it? You've been excluded. Yeah. All right. You know, I do like to give people second chances, Georgia, and I do like to give people the benefit of the doubt. But I've set a precedent already. There are a number of people already not going to the prom. Mm. So, I'd been really sticky wicket if I allowed you to go. Mm. OK. So, I know it's disappointing. Mm. I'm surprised you're not kicking and screaming and bouncing off every wall in my office, to oh, be fair. I'm not asked, to be honest. Can't be bothered with it. Right. Well, I'm glad you've reacted like that. Mm. All right. Is that OK? Mm. Right, thank you. It's all right. All right. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. What, you're not that loud? Bye. It's in a car. Because of what's happened on the Yeah, it's just that so It's not... Did you kick off with him? No. See you later on. See ya. Absolutely got her done. That's how we're filming, to be honest with you. Hmm. I'd be filming if I had to come back. I was nearly crying in office. I just thought, no, no, I'm just going to keep calm and just... At least you've done better than your sister staying till this time of year. I wish we could start again. But I can't. <laughs> Do you really wish you could start? Yeah. Again? From year seven to uh, eleven. What would be different? I'd just be a different person. I won't misbehave, I'd be a good girl. <laughs> Jack and a few others who were sort of hanging around, and they're all sort of a bit on the ceiling before an exam, so I've just got them into calm them down and I've talked to them. But, um, I feel a bit sorry for Jack, I'll be honest. I do a little bit, but I've had him in my office twice and told him he's not allowed to react like that. So it's not first instance? No. Yeah, I just tried to get, yeah, I was just, yeah, they were just a bit, a bit but Jack was, you see, it does seem a bit like he's been excluded from being bullied. I said, well, I don't, no, I can't speak to Mr Mitchell, I don't. Know. He has been bullied? Yeah. But he's hit somebody? Yeah. Yeah. They'll be all right, they just, again, just needed to be calmed down a bit. Yeah. Jack Henry has had issues with bullying and being picked on and people trying to wind him up. As a school, that's something that we're responding to and we are dealing with that, but it's difficult. I have to be fair, tough and consistent on all types of behaviour. I can't isolate bullying. Jack has essentially lashed out at someone. It's something that's not acceptable out there in the real world and therefore it's not acceptable here. See you later. Jack, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, sir. OK. Oh, we needed to talk to you, sir. I know you did, but um, somebody's already told me what you came to see. Was that you and Jack were coming up to talk to me? And a load of other people. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, I've heard what you've had to say, and that's... Thanks for...